only one part I wanted to play was Jack in the Weir. So that was my list, my list of one. I knew straight away I wanted to work with Katrina. And this was my chance to play Jack and to do it here, which I think is its spiritual home, arguably, the, the Abbey Theatre in Dublin. With this ensemble, has, yeah. I can't imagine it having been better realised at any time, in any place. You had played the role of Brendan in the first production of, of The Weir. Um, so I'm wondering if, if maybe you can talk a little bit about um, working with Sean Fox, who's now playing the role. We have the la first two lines, first exchange and the very last exchange, and the strand between us and the, the care and the concern that these characters have for each other. He found his own way, beautifully, the way he inhabits that, the way he's developed that character. I kind of marvel at him on stage, it's great. Something very interesting has happened in terms of what storytelling is. Sit down, sit around, let me tell you a story, and we have a shared experience. That's what Connor taps into with his writing. It's just something very primal, but also something very modern, very contemporary, and very funny and very moving. So it's, it's an extraordinary gift. But the energy of a very special, profound listening is something else. Pin drop silences. It's a magical kind of silence. Like, like I say, until we had audiences, and you get that final missing ingredient, that magical ingredient, yeah. and they tell you what it is. We knew it was something special, yeah. but then the, they told us it's you know, something extraordinary. And I guess doing it at this time of year, I mean, is there something about... Yeah, there you? is. Sit around the fire and let's tell a story. You know, it's Christmas in a few days' time, and we're doing this um, great storytelling and giving people a great night out.